Hey, this is Jay here with Mobile Home Partners. Uh, about to make another video here. I realize I haven't been on YouTube here in the past few days, so definitely want to catch up. I got quite a bit of deals going on. A lot of questions here. I'm trying to pick the best one to answer for today. Um, but I am going to keep on making videos, uh, posting out there. I think I'm uh, also, if I can narrow an answer short enough and still be it makes sense i guess i'm probably going to start posting some ads up there um facebook instagram twitter and linkedin uh, i'm gonna think on that if i can post a question maybe right under it post a definition of my answer and see if that you know that works too i definitely want to answer all these questions i don't want to get too far behind like i said i got a lot of deals going on right now i am working with a few students so I'm getting behind, but I'm definitely trying to catch back up. I want to post at least one video a week. You know, my goal starting out was a video a day, and that's just not going to happen. So definitely one video a week, and just trying to answer any and everybody's questions out there. You know, you can also reach out to me through email. I don't mind answering them that way as well, or just any of my social media sites. Just, you know, hit me up on there. I'd be happy to respond. But I think I'll go with this uh, question here. I, I don't like the list who sent the the questions i don't think that's important you know one thing i tell any and everybody is you know don't be afraid to ask a question many times a lot of people may have that same question and they're too afraid to ask it so you know you're answering a lot of questions many times by just asking yours okay and the question that came in was do mobile homes just depreciate and if so why would you buy them okay do mobile homes depreciate and if so why would you buy them why not <laughs> my question my question in return okay so to answer that question yes you know a mobile home think of a mobile home any mobile home I don't care what year it is think of it as as a vehicle okay the second you drive the vehicle out from a lot you just purchased it depreciates some type of money you know some type of value is depreciated from it and it only keeps going more and more the older this vehicle gets treat the mobile home in the same sense you know regardless of what year make and model the second that that home is purchased even from brand new of course it is now starting to depreciate okay so yes it they all depreciate and if so why do you buy them okay so I will bring real estate into the mix for a second here all right would you buy a house a stick built house even if it was not appreciating but you knew that you could collect X amount of rent year after year after year sure you would you see depreciation even though it is on a mobile home it doesn't really matter because if you're renting it who cares if the home is worth a thousand dollars or is worth a hundred thousand dollars if you're collecting per se seven hundred dollars a month on rent and you're collecting that year after year who cares what the home is worth now when you go to sell it that may be a different question but the more I deal with these mobile homes I mean they do depreciate in the sense of value on, on a book Hello, Blue Book. Let's just say that, for instance, okay? The the value keeps dropping. I don't know what the cutoff value is, really. I guess if they get to zero. But, you know, as long as you keep rehabbing these homes and selling them out directly, they're always going to make you money. I have yet to have a home that didn't bring me money. And again, you know, always think about it that way. What is your exit strategy when you're buying a mobile home? Is it a rental? Is it a rent to own? Owner's finance? A note? Are you gonna wholesale it, flip it? Okay, so find out what that is, but regardless of it, always know that you can make money with mobile homes. Some more than others, depending again on the avenue. You know, if you wanna keep these things for 20 years and rent them, I have some investor friends who have some 1970 models and are still being rented out today, so what what is the value in a 1970 mobile home? Probably nothing, in the sense of a book. Okay, but if you look at these homes, he has done a great job to rehab them. He keeps them up to date. He keeps them well maintained, and they keep renting out, and they keep making him money. So that's why I would buy mobile homes. I buy them because it's a cheaper investment, like we all know. Okay, less risk, less money, and they make you money. So forget about depreciation. Now, if you're buying one and directly trying to sell it more, like a bubble like a broker we're not going to get into that um that's a different story but an investor you coming in you're buying a mobile home you're going to be fine okay if you want me to go in further detail i'd be happy to do so but yes mobile homes are a great investment all right 
hope I answered that question to the best of my ability. Um, as as usual, you know, I'll keep answering more, more and more of these the best as I can. But uh, definitely follow me on, on my pages. You can visit mobilehomepartner.com. Singular. Partner, not partners. Some people have sent me emails that they can't get to my page. Mobilehomepartner.com. And from there, you'll be able to hit all my links on there. And every day we're trying to update. We do have some deals going on right now. Some handyman specials available for any and everybody wanting to get into mobile home investing. I'd be happy to give you more details on that and education more and more people are asking yes i am still taking students the one-on-one -on -one, i don't have any more positions open on that any more availability i just don't have the time guys I, my goal for this year is to own a mobile home park so if you you know if any of you already own one you know the amount of time that takes you know it, it will be solely managed by me to the start so um and, and i hate it sounds like an excuse but for that reason my focus is on that I am still full-time investing, wholesaling, flipping them, rehabbing them, renting them. So, you know, that takes time. But I do have a few slots open for one-on-one. -on -one. If not, if you don't get into that, you know, we are starting the Zoom conferences, which are every Sunday. Those are an eight-week course, eight weeks total. By then, you should more than well be able to invest in your first home if you don't already have one. If you do have one, invest in more. Why not? I will show you... And I'm not going to go down the list on these, but uh, it is basically every week it's a topic that gets you ready for your investment. Okay, if you want more details on that, email me. I'd be happy to to, to give you some of those. If I look at my calendar here, to bear with me. You know, if you're watching this video, you may still have time to get in that conference. But the first one is three one twenty, so March the first this Sunday. We had our first. Um, intro this past sunday i think there was a flicker with the email not everybody got it so i'm doing a second intro which is tomorrow the 27th february 27th um 8 7 p.m and that is a 30 minute just basically breaking down what we go over what to expect you know etc etc so if you're interested in that email me if you don't get into that with an eight week period it's a turnaround we restart again you were able to log in and get started on that one okay so just any questions you have feel free to reach out to me I am not shy to give you all my number you know that 770-855-1298 all right till next time thank you for watching